Hi guys. Hey. How's everyone doing this afternoon? Uh, I was gonna start this off like a talk show or do like a, like a comedy stand-up kind of routine, but I'll just I'll just skip straight to the content. Okay. Um, for the people that know me, you might know that I'm kind of an unconventional person. I'm a pretty unconventional thinker. Okay. I think I like to think of myself as living life a little differently. So today I'm gonna give you my guidelines to how I live. Number one, creativity. Creativity is the most important thing in life, okay? There are so many creative outlets. You don't just have to be creative in, you know, painting or music. You can also be creative in coding. Um, I'll make a bet with you today uh, that the person that finds the cure to cancer is gonna be an unconventional thinker, okay? Uh, creativity, it's not learned. It's discovered inside of you. No one can teach you how to be creative. It's something that you find inside of yourself, and it's a process to find inside of yourself. And it's something that I've reached recently. Um, learning how to live in your mind and learning how to live your life fullest. Uh, school, school and all of this has a role, it does. Uh, school's role is to give you the tools to find your creativity. Uh, school should not teach you how to live. School should teach you how to thrive, okay? School shouldn't give you the basic needs that you have for living in life, it should teach you how to excel at life. Second rule, appreciation. Appreciate what you have all the time, okay? I'll give you an example. We're all in great living situations, like it or not. We should stop complaining about the school and appreciate what we have. I have a friend that I met on a trip to Colorado College. Uh, he's from inner city Chicago. He lives in uh, project housing surrounded by really rich white houses. It's, it's inconsiderate, I mean not inconsiderate, it's just hard for him to live that way. Uh, he lives in a literal shack that is an apartment. Uh, his windows are taped up with garbage bags, so if any of you have seen the movie The Martian, you know that scene when the hab bursts and they, he, type, he tapes up the, the garbage bag or something like that and it's filled with wind like during the storm? Imagine that as his apartment, that's, that's his windows, okay? His friend got shot in the street. Uh, his teachers don't care about him. They don't care about his future. Just imagine how it is living like that and imagine how our lives are better than his. But he still appreciates every single miracle, every single little miracle that he gets. We should be more appreciative of what we have. If you can complain even after hearing the story, you gotta teach me how you do it because I just can't do that. Third, don't be a sheep, okay? As a society, we follow people that think differently. If you look at history, we follow the different thinkers. They're the ones that set the pace. The way I think about this is those different thinkers set the pace and we follow behind them. No, we're dragged behind them like children on a leash, okay? Don't be a sheep, be a shepherd, lead the group. Lead people, lead people with your way of thinking, okay? There's no wrong thinking. You have to create your own mindset. And if people don't follow you, then whatever. You're still honest to yourself, but if people follow you, you know that you've done something great. And be your own leader. Don't think about what other people would do. Think about what you will do. Fourth, never be pessimistic. Pessimists are not leaders. Pessimists are not pioneers. Filling your mind with bad thoughts all the time is unneeded uh, baggage. You don't need that in your mind. It's just wasting your brain cells, filling it up with thoughts of like, oh, I got this test, I got all this. Think of the hopeful stuff, okay? It makes you a better person, it makes you more healthy. People who think like that, they're stuck, always looking to the end. They never think about the now. And the way I see this is, Imagine you're on a train, it's going through this massive valley, and it's just going at it, it's, it's a fast train. Um, and you see outside the window, you see this beautiful valley, but you're too scared to get off, you're too scared to hop off the train, because you really wanna get to your destination, you really wanna get to the end. Once you realize that there's no point in reaching the end, and there's no point in always worrying about the future, you hop off that train, 
you don't understand how exhilarating and happy you feel and how you're liberated from all these borders and you know things that are weighing you down all the time so jump off that train it'll only lead you to better things and I know some of you right now you're you're antsy already you just want your lunch you want this bell to ring and you want me to be done speaking think about right now think about what you're feeling think about what you're thinking think about what you're hearing think about the people around you okay think about who you are as a person think about your character raise your hand if you believe in what I'm talking about okay for the people that didn't raise your hand <laughs> kudos to you okay good for you cuz discover and be yourself is the fifth point no matter what I say up here no matter what I believe in you should stick to your own thoughts okay in a politicized world right now it's important that we stick to what we think is right okay don't let anyone change your mind and everyone has a right to their own opinions don't let anyone change your opinions in an ideal world we all think the same thing but that that just sounds horrible right we're all on the same frequency there's no there's no change in thought there's no disruptions I couldn't live like that I live for seeing disruptions I live for seeing people change the rules people do new things do creative things with them <coughs> I like to call this chaos chaos is necessary for the society that we live in when I was in Mr. Sanchez's class, he gave me a very interesting example about how chaos fits in with the ideals that we have. Chaos is the white canvas that we paint our ideals on. No matter how much you paint, the white canvas, that white chaos, always peers through the paint and it seeps through it. Okay, And the painter still paints along the paintbrush, seeing a new spot every once in a while, trying to fill it in. But if you fill in that sheet completely, what's your job? We have no purpose anymore. We have no objective. So don't disregard people who think differently. Appreciate them. Appreciate different ways of thinking. It's how we stay sane. Never insult people based on their opinions. Different opinions is how we stay sane. Okay. Um, I like to take this moment now. Uh, if you feel brave enough, take your phones out. We're going to take your phones out. Uh, come up here and put them on that table. Last person, or first person to touch their phone is a loser. All right? Leave your phones on that table until the end of the day and actually communicate with people. Talk to people during lunch. Pay attention in your class instead of being on your phone. Okay? Anyone feel brave enough? I'll, I'll start. a good feeling that's the feeling of, of being in the valley that's the feeling of being off the train I'm not worried about my phone I'm not worried about when I'll pick it up I'm just in the now I'm concerned about you guys about the feelings that I'm feeling right now about what I'm thinking about what I'm hearing about how I feel all these things that's what makes us human all right I'd like to end my speech by giving a couple shout outs. Shout out to MP NT Buckets. Uh, shout out to Three Piece. Shout out to Vince Chow. Shout out to Jordan. We don't have a nickname for Jordan. Uh, <laughs> shout out to my Scholastic Bull brothers. I don't know where they are. Uh, shout out for Liz to being really good at smiling. Uh, shout out to DJ Sai and shout out to Lush. Thank you. <laughs>